Hey guys and welcome back to another subscriber showcase video where I'll be going through some of your tank upgrades. Now I did a poll back in February on Instagram asking whether you wanted to see a fix your setups video or sort of a tank upgrade video. It was close but the upgrade one won. Before we get onto the setups, as I always say in these videos, follow me over on Instagram at Lepagecko YouTube. I also have Splutagram and Cleo the House Wolf if you want to follow my other accounts. But basically when I'm looking for setups I will put a post up for about a week asking for them on the Leopard Gecko YouTube Instagram. So the first one is from Joe and firstly the gecko has gone through a transformation of his own like this is Nemo he will be three this month. Um, I just love how much leopard geckos change especially in their first year but this was his first vivarium pretty simple setup. I wish we had bigger photos I think these might be Instagram screenshots but yeah his tank went from this to this. It's now an 80 by 41 by 44 centimeter glass terrarium and it looks awesome. I do wish we had the original photos but I hope you can see it well but it looks really good. The next one is from Louis and this is his Gecko Eevee's first tank which has now been transformed into this 4 by 2 by 2 foot 120 gallon mega mansion. <laughs> lots of hides, lots of different textures. The only thing if I had to suggest a change this is totally up to you, but I would put the UV lamp long ways around the same area as a deep heat projector, then they can work together in the same sort of basking area so they sort of work like the sun. Um, as it's such a big tank, maybe you put the UV there so it'd light up the rest of the tank a bit, but you can always use an LED to do this. Uh, they're usually longer um, and will illuminate the tank, but overall very nice. I also love these cards at the front here. Next we have set up from Ava and I think this is really cool because basically she admits that maybe when she first got her gecko back in August 2020 her setup wasn't the best. It was 10 gal, free hides but no humid hide and no thermostat. But after doing more research she has taken it upon herself to absolutely transform her gecko's home and it now lives in a 34 gallon tank. So this is wonderful to see because sometimes when we see setups, which her original setup it was small but it wasn't like horrendous. We've seen worse and there is one that's probably a lot worse coming up in a moment. But sometimes when you see something that's not quite right in the reptile community sometimes people can jump on that and be quite negative and push people away from the community and I think if we actually try to educate and be polite and helpful these are the kind of results um, we can see. So well done for Ava for taking on that advice and really transforming your gecko's tank. Now we have a setup that was actually originally featured in a previous Fixing Gecko's Tanks video. This is from Brooke and originally she had a 20 gallon tank, free hides, heat mat liner as her substrate, but now she's transformed it into a 40 gallon tank with overhead heating, UVB, loose substrate, live plants and a cleanup crew. Now apparently her gecko is now far more active, it doesn't hide as much and can be found in multiple different places. So I think you've done a really great job here and I'm glad to hear your gecko is enjoying his new home. Now this next setup is such a transformation. I don't think I even have to explain what is wrong in this original setup. I'm sure you know but if you didn't it is a 10 gal setup which maybe a hatchling could live in this but I think it's quite small. Also there's only one hide and there's calci sand so this is not good but Adrian has only upgraded it 10 to 20, which is fine. I think 20 is a good minimum size for a juvenile and adult. You can always go bigger, but totally fine because actually the difference from the first one to the second is amazing. So there are multiple hides, UVB, wood to climb on, lots of coverage and no calci sand. Now, the only thing I'd suggest is maybe some slate or something going on in the front here, but that's totally up to you. I think you've done a great job and you've definitely come very far. Next we have another blast from the past, so I recognise this setup from a previous video I did. So this is Oliver's gecko setup and before the background was quite plain, kind of bare, but now he has all this plant growth. Now I've tried to grow this plant, the one at the back, multiple times in my crested gecko tank and it always dies. I don't know if the woodlice get it or it gets too dry, I don't know. But props to you for being able to grow this in a leopard gecko tank. Uh, but yeah, this was a nice transformation. 
Then we have a crested gecko set up from Olive. So I just have to say, I really appreciate how she's written everything out. It does make my job easier because sometimes I'll get an email of just a photo and no description, no explanation. I'm just like, what can I do with this? Um, but basically she went from a 12 by 12 by 18 inch tank to an 18 by 18 by 24 inch tank, which is the minimum for an adult crested gecko. So that is good to see. And also now it is mostly bioactive. Now those plants will grow in. I find that when you start off, um, it can feel a bit bare, uh, but they will soon grow. Cause sometimes you put loads of plants in at the beginning and it looks great for like a photo, like ooh, ta tank transformation. Even like I've done that, like I put loads in hoping they will grow, but you find that a bunch of them will die off and only the dominant ones survive. So even if you think this looks a little bit bare at the moment, they should grow in. And finally, we have a setup from Nikita, whose tank was also previously featured. I remember it because I remember that little duck. <laughs> and she upgraded her tank to a three by one and a half by one and a half foot tank with a deep heat projector, a 7% shade dweller and a jungle dawn and a mix of fake and real succulents. And I think this is awesome. I love this little feature here because I imagine this is the graves of your gecko's enemies, AKA crickets. But <laughs> such a transformation and this is great to see. Now if you haven't seen your setup in this video please don't take it to heart. I receive a lot of entries for videos like this but I hope you've enjoyed it. Maybe you've been inspired. Thank you to everyone who has sent in your setups even your previous ones which you might be a little embarrassed about you might think that wasn't great but it's great to see your progress um but yeah if you're new here or you just haven't subscribed yet please hit that subscribe button and pop on the notifications don't worry i only upload once a week so you won't get bombarded with notifications but yes thank you for watching guys and goodbye <laughs>